Keely and welcome to Bite Me. Today I'm going to be looking at transferring my photos onto my computer and enhancing them further. Richard, I can't thank you enough for the tips you gave me the other day. I've really improved my pictures. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, sure. Oh, the great. only problem I have now is that I've taken these pictures and they've improved, but I don't know how to get them off the camera. Onto the computer? It's, it's simple, really simple. You probably had in your box with your camera a simple U mini USB lead, something like this. And really and truly all you do is connect the camera to the USB lead, into the computer, and you're working on a Mac here, virtually do most of it for you. The, the program will see the cameras linked up, it will prompt you, do you want to transfer the images, and they'll just move over. I mean, it, it really is simple. Do I not need any software installed onto my computer beforehand? No, you're fine because you're using a Mac here. Uh, the Mac generally comes with a program called iPhoto ready installed. Um, and it does most of the work for you. You plug up your uh, camera, it will see it and transfer it over. If you haven't got it or you're using a PC and you need a program to do that, you quite often find that a lot of these small cameras come with uh, Photoshop elements which is a package that will do much the same and more than iPhoto and um, usually free with the camera so you just need to install it and it, you're, you're away to go really. Okay, other than using the um, mini USB lead here, is there any other way I can transfer my pictures? Yeah, th there is actually. You can use a, a simple card reader like this one. Uh, I use this all the time. Um, there is an advantage because when you plug your camera into the computer with the USB lead, you actually draw power off the camera to transfer the images. And that can be a problem because you're on, if you're on holiday or away from your charger for whatever reason and you haven't got much power in your camera, really and truly you probably don't want to lose the energy in this camera just transferring images. So if you use a simple card reader, which is much, much the same, you'll put your memory card in, plug it into the computer, and it will transfer the images over. But you won't lose power off the camera because you're taking the power off here. And another little issue I have is, it's a bit of a safety thing, but I've seen people plug their camera into a computer and they've got a cluttered desk, they haven't got space for it, and they can knock the camera flying because they're trying to kind of move things about. So you can safely put your camera away and use the card reader so it'll be a lot easier to transfer over. Yeah. OK, what can I do once they're on the computer to adjust them, um, the colour, the contrast, or that sort of thing? That's where the fun starts. Your package like iPhoto here will do all your image editing. So you can do all your cropping, your change of tonality, your brightness, your uh, contrast, uh, red eye reduction. There's plenty to do, so you'll have a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's good. OK, can I give it a go? Sure, go ahead, let's do it together. I'll bring the computer it's over. Yep. It's in here. Got it, yep. Let me move that. Yep, turn the camera on. Brilliant. Great, okay. look, oh. you can see it's... So it automatically opens up iPhoto. Yep. And enter a roll name. Import. Yep. Okay, they're coming in. That wasn't difficult, was it? No. <laughs> um, so how is it we get on to adjusting them? Okay, well, look, now they're in. So, look, they're all in there. Should we pick a picture? Yep. There we go. And um, press edit. That's great, yeah. So now you've got a, a list of commands you can do to, to do your enhancing. So you've got, you've got a crop control here. You've got adjustments. Let's go to adjustments, because that's a... Okay. Pretty good one for, okay. So now you have an adjustment bar. Can you see it? Yeah. Yep. So, so I mean that's simple. They're very basic kind of commands you can change. Even your exposure, you can adjust there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It does improve it. Yeah. So. I think that one's done. Yeah. Okay. And I click on the done button down here, and that yep. will. Save all the changes. You could go and try crop because the, the composition of that isn't too balanced. So go into the crop control. Yeah. And now it allows you to recompose the image. So draw a line. See, that's good. Yeah. So it's drawn a, a cropping square over your image and you can 
adjust that to get a better, better balance, yeah? Okay. And that's good. Simple, really. It really is. You need to spend time with it and just look at the controls, but it really is easy and fun. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a little play around with the rest oh, of the right. photos and enhance them further. But thank you for your help, Richard. Okay, no problem, no problem. I learned how to transfer my pictures onto my computer and enhance them further. And next week we'll be looking at green issues and technology. And as always, for more information on photography, visit our website www.bitemetv.com. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye.